Hello world, it's 8 o'clock in the morning, it's the 29th of July 2014. I did my videos for August yesterday and they'll be released in the next 36 hours. As many of you know, I'm writing a definitive book on the astrology and astronomy of Pluto. I'm about 50,000 words in and I do anticipate having finished it by the end of August so that the first copies can be available for December of this year. But in that writing, not only has it been a journey of self-discovery in that I've used Pluto's transformative energies to regenerate, transform and rebirth ideas about myself, but the whole process has taken on a life of its own. And in that light, I need to throw some just from realizations at you people out there and ask you for what you think is going on, because I haven't got a clue. Pluto was discovered in 1930. And since 1950, it's been placed in horoscopes, there's been meaning attributed to it, and from the 60s and 70s onwards, definitive translations of a Plutonic myth have emerged through astrology into a way that in the 70s, 80s, 90s, and the last decade have really ensconced Pluto as, a, as, a, as an imperative and vital agent of transformation using astrology. But... Within the last few years, satellite technology, telescope technology, we've proven, first of all, that Pluto is not a planet. It is a member of the Kuiper Belt, a range of small planetoids that orbit somewhere between um, 20 to 40 astronomical units outside of the Earth. It's like the asteroid belt, but 20 times bigger and 20 times further. And it is angled to the plane of the ecliptic at something like 25 degrees. So Pluto only is on the same level as all the other planets for perhaps five or six years, twice every 250 years. It happened to be coincidence, perhaps, but in 1929-30, when Pluto was discovered, it was at one of these five-year junctures. But recently we've realised that there's other objects in the Kuiper Belt, for example, Sedna, or Eris, I think it is, that's even bigger than Pluto, yet their orbit is much more irregular. Pluto does appear to have satellites. It does appear to be round, but it's so small that it falls outside the remit of a planet. And Pluto's position has been wrongly calculated over the years. It's actually a lot further away than we think it has been until recently. Therefore, all the criteria for it to fulfill the remit of a planet and a planetary energy seems to fall short. And I could think of a number of good reasons why the astrology of Pluto should not work based on the recent astronomical discoveries. Yet... I cannot conceive of doing a horoscope without Pluto. It's like doing a horoscope without Chiron or Uranus or, or, or Pluto. It is such an important part when looking at the unconscious, the subconscious, the psychological, the transpersonal. You can't do astrology without it. And yet, when compared to all of the other planets, Pluto simply doesn't exist. Pluto is the unknown and the unknowable. And it is a lump of probably carbon and ice a long way away but that in itself just doesn't account for whatever it is that has created that astrologers have translated in the last 30 years as being the plutonic influence it turns out that pluto is actually a hundred times less significant astrologically speaking than we previously thought and if it is not a planet what is it if it's not Pluto, that's been caused, that's been allegorically responsible for all of these manifestations. I'm sure that collectively around the world, astrologers in the last 30 years have not been psychic. There's something that people are picking up on that relates to the astronomical position of Pluto that works with a Plutonic myth and a Plutonic transformation. But the astronomy doesn't back it up. There is nothing there that relates to this degree of power. How can that be? Now, I'm really wrangling with this. I'm writing two chapters on this at the moment, and it is about the very nature of astrology. It is about the self-suggestive capacity of humanity. 
I'm wondering if I'm beginning to talk myself into believing that astrology actually is a, is a fool's game. And of course it's not, because I've been studying it 35 years. But I'm really trying to redefine boundaries here. So any suggestions on the nature of the unknown, the dark, the unknowable, the Hadean, would be most welcome. Catch you later, folks. Bye.